This video will describe the contents of the Industry Comparables Report, one of six reports provided by the Fiscal Checkup software. The focus of this report is to compare the performance of the company to the industry for over 50 key data points based on the NAIC codes that were entered. The first two pages explain the Fiscal Advantage D or Differential Rating. The D rating was developed by Fiscal Advantage to help facilitate a comparison to the industry for the most important balance sheet, income statement, and leverage ratios. There are a total of nine variables that make up the D rating, three income-based ratios, three working capital ratios, and three leverage-based ratios. The score for the income-based comparables is comprised of the return on assets, EBITDA margin, and net profit margin. As some ratios are more important than others, they are weighted differently. In this case, the net profit margin is the most important of the income-based ratios. For each ratio, Fiscal Checkup lists the company's latest value, compares it to the industry average, and then calculates the weighted differential. If the company was operating exactly at the industry average, then the return on assets weighted differential would be 20, the EBITDA margin would be 30, and the net profit margin would be 50 for a total of 100. The final column is simply the differential as a percentage. If the company value is more than 10% below the industry average, it is noted with a red flag. If it is more than 10% above the industry, it has a green check mark. And if the value is within 10% of the industry average, the differential is listed in black. On the bottom of page one, the graphs for the three ratios that make up the income-based comparables are shown, along with the summary value table. It is important to view each of these ratios over time compared to the industry to understand any trends. The exact same process and comparison is completed for the three ratios that make up the working capital-based comparables. The graphs for these three ratios that make up the working capital differential are included on the top of page two. The same process and comparison is also completed for the three ratios that make up the leverage-based comparables. The graphs for these three ratios can be found on the bottom of page two. It is important that the business managers analyze this two-page summary of the D rating and the nine key ratios with their graphs over the time periods displayed. Back to the top of page one, each section is totaled and the values of the three components are averaged to arrive at the D rating. D ratings above 100 mean that, on average, the company is operating better than the industry. Scores below 100 mean the company, on average, is operating below the industry for these nine important ratios. It may be important to further study any ratio marked with a red flag. Page 3 summarizes key information from the income statement and balance sheet along with their respective ratios. The first table contains information from the income statement. As you can see, this analysis contains three years of industry data, compared to the last year for the company. The second table contains information from the balance sheet. Again, three years of industry data are included to compare to the last year of company data. To help you interpret the data, we have highlighted the row for cash and equivalents. Note the percentage of total assets that were made up by this account for both the industry and the company. For the liabilities section, we've highlighted trade payables, Again, notice the percentage of total liabilities and net worth that were made up by this account for both the industry and the company. The final table on this page deals with the industry ratios. Three years of industry data are provided to compare with the last year of company data. You may wish to discuss with your CPA or business advisor which of these ratios are most important to monitor for your business. The tables on page 4 are essentially identical to those on page 3, except three years of company data is compared to the last year of industry data. The first table contains information from the income statement. As you can see, this analysis contains three years of company data, 
compared to the last year for the industry. The second table contains information from the balance sheet. Again, three years of company data are included to compare to the last year of industry data. To help you interpret this data, we have again highlighted the row for cash and equivalents. Note the percentage of total assets that were made up by this account for both the industry and the company. The final table on this page deals with company ratios. Three years of company data are provided to compare with the last year of industry data. You may wish to discuss with your CPA or business advisor which of these ratios are most important to monitor for your business. Page 5 has two tables that contain cash flow metrics. The first table is for the industry cash flow metrics because it contains three years of industry data compared to the last year of company data. The second table is for the company cash flow metrics because it contains three years of company data compared to the last year of industry data. The third section of this page lists the NAIC code or codes that were used for the comparables. If more than one NAIC code is listed, then the table also shows the percentage of revenue assigned to each code. The final page of the Industry Comparables Report explains the Fiscal Advantage V or Viability Rating and it contains a narrative on the company and its markets. The V rating analyzes seven different factors that have been shown to influence future viability. For each factor, the company is rated as to how the most recent fiscal year compares to their own trend over the past several years listed in the column compared to trend. The second column, compared to industry, compares the most recent fiscal year to others in their industry. The final score to the right of each factor is the average of the two values. The profit gap variance calculates the additional profits a company could realize after considering the profits the company could achieve had they operated at their optimal level. This concept was explained in detail in the executive summary video. The higher the rating, the better and more consistent the company's performance. Since Fiscal Checkup does not have this data for the industry, it is not part of the final score for this variable. The market and company dynamics factor utilizes five of the most important questions from the questionnaire which were likely to predict future viability, such as market share and competitiveness of your products. The V rating provides an estimate of the future viability of the company. Note that this is a full 1 to 100 scale. An average or satisfactory company will receive a rating of 50 plus or minus 10 percent. If the question section was completed as part of the input wizard, there will be a narrative discussion on the bottom of this page regarding the competitive landscape and industry comparables. For each report, there is the ability for the user or business advisor to add comments. If any were entered, they are listed on this final page of the report. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions or suggestions, please call or email us.